Shalom. I'm going to share a quick share. Uh, blessings. Genesis 5. Uh, and 21 or 24 says. Uh, Enoch was with the Most High. Says God. And then he was not. Or. Right. He was taken. Away. Right? And we know Enoch lived 365 years. Um, but the calendar is reckoned 364. The true calendar. The ancient calendar, right? Um... Um, I'm at Enoch, second Enoch 53. All right. The note says, let us not say our fathers is before God, the most high, and he will stand for, stand forward for us, that he will take, a, take our place for us. It says on the day of judgment. For their father cannot help son, for their father cannot help son, nor uh, son father. All right, that's something to understand. Anyway, it says, "And my," and it says, "And now my children, this is Enoch, do not say our father is standing before the Most High, and is praying for our sins." For there is there no helper. There's no helper. For of any man who has sinned. All right. So that's important to know. It's important, to, it's important for man to, to die once. And after that is the judgment. All right. And we understand that. Nobody could take our place. And again it says, And now my children, do not say, don't think in your minds, or don't and do not say, Our Father, our Abbas, is standing before the Most High and is praying. Our ancestors, our dads, our moms, is praying for our sins. For there is no helper of any man or any woman who has sinned, who broke the law. Two, you see how I wrote all works of every man before his creation? All that is done amongst all men for all time, and none can tell or relate my handwriting. It says, and none can tell, that means speak or communicate, translate my handwriting, interpret, understand my handwriting, because the Most High sees all the imaginations, their thoughts, their minds, their heart, the imaginations of men, and how they are vain. They, Their thoughts, their mind is useless, worthless, vain, empty. Where they lie in the treasure houses. They lie in the treasure houses of their mind. They create falsehood, vanity, lies in their heart, their spirit, their mind, their emotions, thoughts. The three. And now, my children, mark that brings remember. Write it down, record it, uh, make a sign. It says, mark well all the words of your father. Remember the words of your father. This is Enoch. That I tell you, if you regret if you regret saying why did our father not tell us all right so he said write it down remember it make a mark make an example of it um so you won't regret and say why didn't i listen or why didn't our father uh not tell us about these things to come but he has all right now, 
Enoch instructs his sons, his what? His sons, that they should hand the books to others also. Does that mean everyone? Let's see. At that time, this is uh, Enoch 54. At that time, not understanding this, let these books which I have given you be for inheritance. At that time, that age, that hour, and not understanding this, let these books which I have given you be for inheritance for your peace. What is it for? It's for your peace. His records are for your peace, his books. It says, hand them to all who want them. So this is what Enoch said to his sons. Uh, and there's some people that are still here that are his sons. Right? And some that aren't. But it says, hand them to all who want them. Those that are his sons, those that are not his sons. He's saying, give my books, my records, right, my handwriting to, to all who want them and instruct them, said, teach them that they may see, that they may what? See, view the Most High's very great and marvelous works, that they may see a higher Yahuwah's very great and marvelous works, his marvelous deeds, his miracles. All right. So he said, hand them to all that want the word of Enoch, and instruction, and then instruct them, teach them that they may see, they may become seers. Right of the Most High's very great and marvelous works. Why? Because Enoch saw the Most High's great and wonderful works. And I'm going to read this. It says, My children, behold, Look, the day, the time, the hour, the age of my term, and the time have approached. For the angels who shall go with me are standing before me and urge me to my departure, leaving from you. They are standing here on earth, waiting what has been told them. So, let's go to The Secrets of Enoch, chapter 1. Let's read verse 2. I mean, chapter 2. It says, Listen to me, my children. I know not whether I go or what will happen to me. Now, therefore, my children, I tell you, turn not from the Most High. Don't turn from Yah. It says, turn not from God before the face of the vein. Don't turn from the Most High to turn uh, before the face of the vein, the useless, the empty, who made not heaven, because they created not heaven, the sky, and earth, for these shall die. Scientists shall die, right? The ones that rule, the, the mighty ones, the rich that rule the earth will perish. It says, because they made not heaven and earth, for these shall perish. They're going to die. And those who worship them, idols, those who worship idols, uh, celebrities, will also die. And may the Lord make confident your hearts. Allow the Most High to make your hearts confident, your spirits, your minds confident in the fear of Him. 
Why? Because you're going to see those ones that perish and die. Says Enoch, and now, my children, let no one think to seek me. Don't look for me. Don't search for me. Until the Most High return me, brings me back to you. Right? Um, let me read one chapter one it says there was a wise man a great artificer and the most high conceived love for him he was a lord and attracted to him and received him that he should be behold that means view see the uppermost the highest livings and be an eyewitness be proof evidence of the wise and great and inconceivable an immutable realm of God, the Most High, Yah Almighty, the very wonderful and glorious and bright and many-eyed station of the Most High servants, slaves, and of the inaccessible throne of the Most High, and of the degrees and manifestations of the incorruptible host, army of angels, and the ineffable ministration of the multitude, the crowds of the elements, and of the various apparitions, and an expressible singing of the host, the army of cherubim, angels, and of the boundless light, the limitless light. Verse 5. And when I was asleep, great distress came upon, up onto my heart, on, on Enoch's mind, and I was weeping with my eyes in sleep, and I could not understand what this distress was, or what would happen to me and there appeared to me two men exceeding big so so big that i never saw such on earth their faces were shining like the sun their eyes were two their eyes were that their eyes too were like a burning like burning light and from their lips their mouth was fire coming out with clothing and singing of various kinds in appearance purple their wings were brighter than gold their hands whiter than snow they were standing at the head of my couch and began to call me by my name Enoch Enoch and I rose from my sleep and saw clearly those two men standing in front of me and I saluted them and was seized with fear he was taken with fear and the appearance of my face was changed from the terror and those men said to me have courage be brave Enoch do not fear the eternal power which is a higher called us to you or sent us to you and look you shall today ascend that means go up with us into heaven into what the sky and you shall tell your sons, your children, and all your household, your family, all that they shall do without you, lacking you, not having you on earth, in your house. And let no one seek you. Let no one search for you to the Most High return you to them until the Most High uh, bring you back to them and Enoch said I made haste he ran to obey to do the commands um, to obey what they said and went out from he said he went out from his house and made to the doors he ran to the doors as it was ordered Enoch and summoned he called his sons Methuselah and Regum and Gedad and made known to them all the wonders those men had told him. All right. And uh, that's that for that. I might look at just reading something.
Because he was showed a lot of things. All right. So I'm just going to read Enoch. Two and one. It says, Observe you everything that takes place in heaven, in the sky, how they do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in heaven, how they all arise and set and set in order, each in its season, and trans and transgress, break not the law, or transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth, see the earth, you the earth, and give heed to the things which take place upon it in the earth from first to last, from the beginning to end, how steadfast they are, how none of the things upon earth change, but all the works of the Most High appear to you. They, they appear, to, they come to your view. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it, lie upon earth. Observe, see, how in the winter all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves, except 14 trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years till the new comes. And again, Observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth over against it. And you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with glowing heat. As so, you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat. All right. This is the things that Enoch can tell you. All right. Um, Enoch 41 and verse 3. And there my eyes saw the secrets of the lightning and of the thunder and the secrets of the winds, how they are divided to blow over the earth and the secrets of the clouds and dew. And there I saw from, from hence... They proceed from here, they proceed in that place and from where they saturate the dusty earth. And there I saw closed rooms, chambers out of which the winds are divided, and the chamber of the hell and winds, the chamber of the mist, the rooms of the mist and of the clouds, and the, and the cloud thereof hovers over the earth from the beginning of the world. And I saw the chambers, the rooms of the sun and moon, where they proceed and whether they come again and their glorious return and how one is superior to the other, greater than the other and their stately orbit and how they do not leave their orbit and they add nothing to their orbit and they take nothing from it and they keep faith with each other in accordance with the oath by which they are bound together. And first the sun goes out and traverse his path according to the commandments of the Most High, the Lord of Spirits, Ahia. And mighty is his name forever and ever. And after that I saw the hidden and the visible path of the moon, and she accomplishes the course of her path in that place by day. And by night, the one holding a position opposite to the other before the Most High of Spirits, the Lord of Spirits. And they give thanks and praise and rest not, for unto them is their thanks is their thanks giving rest. For the sun changes often before a blessing or a curse. And the course, the way of the, the path of the moon is light to the righteous and darkness to the sinners in the name of the Most High, who made a separation between the light and the darkness, and divided the spirits of men, and strengthened the spirits of the righteous in the name of his righteousness. All right. For no angel hinders 
and no power is able to hinder for he appoints a judge for them all and he judges them all before him all right and uh you know there's there's even more uh enoch 59 1 in those days my eyes saw the secrets of the lightnings and of the lights and the judgments they execute their judgment and they lighten for a blessing or a curse as the lord of the spirits willeth desires and there i saw the secrets of thunder and how when it resounds above in the heaven and the sound thereof is heard and he caused me to see the judgments executed on the earth whether they be for well-being and blessing or a curse according to the word of the most high the lord of spirits and after that all the secrets of the lights and lightnings were shown to me and they lightened for blessing and for satisfying Chapter 74, and and let's say seven, all right, and when the sun goes out from the fourth portal, she goes for seven days until she goes out from the fifth and turns back again in seven days into the fourth portal and accomplishes all her life and she recedes and enter into the first portal in eight days and she returns again in seven days into the fourth portal from which the sun goes out then I saw their position and how the moons rose and the sun set in those days. And it, uh, and if five years are added together, the sun has an overplus of 30 days. And all the days which occur, occur to it for one of those five years, when they are full amount to 364 days. And the overplus of the sun and of the stars amounts to six days. In five years, six days, every year come to 30 days. And the moon falls behind the sun and stars to the number of 30 days. And the sun and the stars being in all the years exactly so that they do not advance or delay their position by a single day unto eternity, but complete the year with perfect justice in 364 days. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. At 365, not 354, 364 days. All right. So all I'm showing you is Enoch uh, was given heavenly knowledge, all right, and prophecy, and he knew about the Son of the Most High, all right. Um, Enoch um, 80, verse 2, and in the days of the sinner, the years shall be shortened, right? Christ said he can't, he's gonna come and he's gonna shorten the days or no flesh would live, all right? It says, in those days of the sinners, the years shall be shortened and their seed, their children shall be tardy on their lands and fields and all things on the earth shall alter, shall change. DNA shall change, the food shall change. All things on the earth shall alter and shall not appear in their time and the rain shall be kept back and the heaven shall withhold it 
rain. And in those times the fruits of the earth shall be backward, and shall not grow in their time, and their fruits of the trees shall be withheld in their time. And the moon shall alter her order, to be out of order, and not appear at her time. And in those days the sun shall be seen, and he shall journey in the evening on the extremity of the great chariot in the west, and shall shine more brightly than then accords with the order of light. He's going to burn people up. That's what's going on in Europe. And many chiefs of the stars shall transgress. That means break the order, the law prescribed. And they shall alter their orbits, their way, their paths, and tasks. And not appear as the seasons prescribed to them or directed to them. And the whole order of the stars shall be counseled from, concealed from the sinners. And the thoughts of those on the earth shall err. They're going to go wrong concerning them. Because they're, they're going to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. And they shall be altered, changed from all their ways. Yeah, they shall err and take them to be gods. Planet Nubaro and X and all this other junk. They're going to start seeing all kind of different things because the Most High is going to trick them. And he, he's going to trick the astrologers and the, and the um, people that's looking at the stars, right? And evil shall be multiplied. Evil is being increased right now upon the earth. And punishment shall come upon them so as to destroy all. And he said unto me, Observe Enoch these heavenly tablets and read what is written thereon and mark every individual fact. Remember every individual fact. And I observed the heavenly ta tablets and read everything which was written thereon and understood everything and read the book of all the deeds of mankind and of all the children of flesh that shall be upon the earth to the remotest generations, the furthest time period. And out with I bless the great most high, the king of glory forever, and that he has made all the works of the world. And extolled them, I praise the most high because of his patience, and I bless them because of the children of man. And after that I said, Blessed is the man who dies in righteousness and goodness, praise the most high, concerning whom there is no book of unrighteousness written. Because he's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and Sabbaths, and holy days. And against whom no day of judgment shall be found. Mm. Praise the Most High. So, um, I'm running out of time. So, I'm going to go to uh, Enoch 104 real quick. And... Uh, it says, and although you sinners say all our sin shall not be